Another 69 Daytona legitimate barn find. Okay, this is where my neurons started firing really erratically. Here is a burnt up 69 Charger Daytona. You can see where the holes for the scoops were and I'll show you the quarter panel where the wing used to be. And here's a, just another rust free charger. But then here we got another 69 Daytona legitimate barn find. 440 car, someone added air conditioning but been customized. But here we go. Guy turned the scoop, not him, not the owner currently, but the owner before him, turned the scoops around like air intakes. And they added air conditioning at some point, which we are still trying to diagnose what the heck they did. But there's the original nose. And there's the Daytona. How about that? And it gets even better. So, okay, here is a 440 Daytona. There's two of them sitting in this garage. How long have they been sitting for? Years. Ye let's just say years. And here's a 65 Plymouth Satellite. Very nice I car. Watch. I don't keep track of time. Time is a figment of our, our minds. And here's another 69. We call this a half a Daytona. The nose and the wing and other parts are from a wreck daytona but it is i mean that is legitimate daytona parts you got ready to see a guy walk across you know you are not going to walk across the nose of your daytona no, not the nose oh no oh dear oh look, that patina you're, you're scratching the patina no, I'm adding oh, to it. you're adding to okay what is that it is a knife sheath yeah you were right it's a, it just and then while I'm at it, you gonna turn the thermostat on? No. Is there a thermostat over here? Oh, right there, sir. Yeah, great. Do you want help? No. Nope. Oh. All right. They're gonna take a picture of that. Okay. As long as I'm here. Do you want me to light up the interior? Yeah. So. Okay. Well, and here is. They made another Daytona. <sighs> All right, here's the back of the burnt up Daytona. Show you where the wing used to be. And he has plenty of other wings. I'll, uh, I can't show you pictures from the vault, sadly. But, uh, and then here's the other side of the other complete Daytona. Good thing you got a tetanus shot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the can't get it on this side, but. Why would you drill a hole in the back of the... Oh, who knows? But there you go. Barn find Daytonas. I'm going to go through the history of these cars one by one, starting with the right car. This was found in St. Louis by a mutual friend of ours. The car had been sitting there for decades. The owner who had it is the one who we believe customized it like you see here. This was just after it had been um, bought by my friend in 2005. Shortly after this, another friend, Tom, purchased it, and he's the one that tucked it away here when I saw it. Um, it's been sitting in this garage since 2006-ish, we believe, when uh, it transferred ownership. And, uh, you know, a few things got moved around on it, a few things were moved. But uh, the car basically... Did nothing happen to it from 2005 to last year, when or two years ago now, when my friends decided to move some stuff around and clean up the garage, and my friend Tom decided to sell this Daytona back to the guy who bought it from the guy in St. Louis. So all this customization, the 68 side marker lights, the reverse scoops the white tail, all that, all this was done by the guy who lived in St. Louis. Um, but like I said, after this, almost immediately after I saw the car here, um, the ball was rolling to get it pulled out along with the blue uh, half a Daytona 
And you'll see here that my friends aired up the tires and they pulled it out for the first time in ooh, 20 years. Definitely was pretty cool. Unfortunately, I had to miss it. My friend Seth documented the retrieval. You can see there the blue Daytona and the red one going off to the new home. Here it is coming out of the barn. And then you'll see here, oh, just how cool is that? I wish I'd been there to see that because now the car lives in New York. Here it is at my friend's place getting cleaned up along with the blue car, which I'll show in a minute. But from here, it was sold to a gentleman that I am now good friends with, and he gave it to his dad as a gift. And now the car, like I said, he took it apart a little bit, fixed a few things, you know, turned around the scoops, uh, and he, the car is now going to be a running, driving car, but they're going to leave the patina all alone. And if you're up in the New York area, you'll definitely see it, because I gotten some messages already that they took it to a car show on a trailer and people thought it was for sale or some guy was claiming it was for sale just crazy but there it is as it sits right now in new york quite beautiful now we're talking about the car the daytona that was behind the red one the one that's a burnt out shell from what i've been told is this was burned in a fire in texas and instead of junking it junking it then they decided to turn it into a fire pit so that's why it's really, really crispy. Um, the owner, Tom, has all the pieces for it, but the car had been sitting so long. You'll see here when they took it out and they pieced it all together, it was... I, I've seen rough ones, and this is right up there, but, you know, the nose is there. The wing's gone, though, but he has the parts to put it back if he wants, I believe. That's as it sits right now. Really... Really interesting and weird end to a 69 Daytona, to say the least. And then the last car in the group that I know information on is the blue... It's not a real Daytona. You can see it here after they pulled it out. But it does have a real Daytona nose. It does have a real Daytona wing and some other pieces. And you can see here that they pulled them off because there's some trading going on. The parts went back to my friend Tom. The Charger, I think, got sold. So, yeah, some cool cars, to say the least. The other way either. No, snap it. Snap it. How do you snap it? I'll show you. Did you get a... Really? Yeah. You take a... Good thing I didn't take the torch to it. No, don't do that. Don't do that. It's a brand new rim. Yeah. You take a... a socket. Yeah. And you get it. On the, on the bolt, and then uh, you make sure you get on the break, break bar like this, you know? Yeah. You don't want to go like this, obviously. You want to go like that. But then uh, just get like this. Up, uh, down, up, uh, down, and they'll snap right off. Can snap I try that and break that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need that? No, no. But I don't know what size you have. What size, do you know what size you have? Are those the same size ones? Yeah. All right. And, uh, yeah. I can do that, yeah. And I'll bring you right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to let those muscles do it. I like it. There you go, yeah. There's no, no way I do that. Uh -huh. I'm going to stand it today for some reason. Yeah, 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 I've been there before. Oh, it took me years before I figured out that. that, that, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it's half off or something, you know? Yep. No, it's very tight. Very tight, man. Yep. All right, you ready, buddy? Yeah, I'm ready. Quit rolling. So we got okay. one support back here. Yep, the, this side's missing. So when I bring it up around 200, it might come up the quarter. Oh, shut up. Hey, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that video. It was definitely a lot of fun to go visit my friend Tom and see its collection. And to say the least, this was just the beginning. I'm going to be filming a follow-up here shortly that uh, should be quite illuminating to say the least. But uh, this is the last video in the Subvember series and definitely has worked out. It gained almost 2,000 subscribers in one month time, which is pretty good for me. Usually I'm around two to 500. So I appreciate everyone subscribing. Of course, if you like following my content, subscribe so you keep on getting the updates. Otherwise, I'll be posting updates every Monday as usual. Um, a lot of cool stuff coming up. Uh, there's going to be a junkyard in Tennessee full of, I think, 3,000 Honda motorcycles and AMC or uh, a, yeah, AMC AMXs and some other stuff. So keep watching. Of course, you can contact me through all my social media in the description below. But uh, stay safe, and I hope everyone, at least in the U.S., had a good Thanksgiving.
Talk to you soon.